first it will start from from because how database will read it will read, first go to the table right you are selecting few columns from what from table first it will go to the table right so first part it looks is from part when the execute when you query execute a query what happens at the back end right sql server first goes at the from part checks the table name from which table it has to fetch the data right so then it checks is there any filter in the table because it's always good to filter out number of records before processing because the less number of records the higher the processing speed we will get right if you have more if you are selecting all the data from a table our processing will be slow right so then it will check if there is any filter condition present or not if we have any where condition or not so it goes to the table applies the where condition gets the data set that it wants right then it checks do i have a group by on which i can group the data so if we have a group by it will perform the group by part so after group by it will check do i have a having clause to filter out more data so if yes then it will execute the having clause after all this finally it will select your data that you need that it needs to display whatever columns you have in your select statement will come next right after okay. selecting what we need to do we need to order the data so if you are sorting the data then it needs to show the data in the sorted order to you right finally it will do order by on your condition so when you write a query you write in this order select from join where when you execute a query it always goes in this order from where group by having finally selects and selecting in which order is defined by order by clause by default it is ascending clear on how we write a query and how it executes at the back end yes so this uh, one novel will teach you but this is something you need to remember because if you know this flow it will help you tune your queries right because you now know okay i first if there are multiple joins and the table has millions of records so you know where condition will execute next so you can filter out the records using where condition based on your requirement it will improve the performance of the query so if you know this flow it will be very helpful for you in later point of time to tune the queries